The CMH Group, not just your local dealership, but the motoring team dedicated to your vehicle needs. Whether you are looking to buy a new or used car online or in one of our many dealerships, our trained staff will be there to guide you. With our state-of-the-art service centers, products and parts, we guarantee peace of mind. The CMH Group isn't just the first choice, we are the only choice. Visit your local CMH Group dealers today. Thank you to our commentators, doing a stellar job as always here at Submission Kings. Check out samaf.org for more information on how you can get involved and how you can contribute. It's time now for our second quintet. A lot of people getting very excited about this. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together as I introduce the teams representing the Red Shields. Gracie Baha Ilovo from Johannesburg. They take on CIT, a gym spearheaded by UFC athlete Trikas Duplessis. Representing Gracie Baha will be Jamie Gemmel, Storm Conrad, Bradley Mazulu, Wayne Clifford, and Mark Silas. From Pretoria, representing Team CIT, please welcome Trikas Duplessis, Cam Simon, Talbugai, and Liam Clellan. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for our two teams. Yes, yeah, submission kings. All right, we're just about ready to go. Thank you, everyone, for coming out and supporting. It's time now to join our commentary team, one of the most anticipated matches of Submission Kings. Okay, we're back at it. Seems like we've got uh, GBR Zulu versus uh, Drickus first up. Yeah. Throwing, throwing the big guys in here. Yeah? So the ref is just saying that it's a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit wet, eh? So we just want to get uh, someone to come in. Uh, let's, let's, let's give it, give it some time, eh? Yeah, I think um, so. What the ref is saying that the, the mat's a little bit wet, and uh, let's give it some time, and eh? let's let's make sure that the guys start off on an even footing. Yeah. Um, I think it's fair. And what we also don't want is we don't want the competitor slipping. No, 100%. And, and injuries or something silly like that. You also don't want anything, any like excuses to creep in, you know. Oh, but I slipped and yeah. then he got the position. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, Absolutely. there's no harm in just waiting a little okay. bit. So, y UFC fighter, Jacob Duplessis. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's actually cool. signed a fight for December as well. So, I mean, he's got a signed fight and he's competing here tonight. How sick, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's phenomenal. And but you look um, at the weight difference between these two, but like... Zulu is still looking strong 80 yeah. kgs. Strong 80 kgs. And Drickus is weighing in at? 97. Yeah, 97 kilograms. He looks, he looks strong. You can see he's on the off season. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's, looking, he's looking jacked. He's looking thick, eh? Yeah, it's good. It's going to be an interesting fight. My boy's been lifting those weights. Yeah, definitely. Opting for the, for the no rash guard, eh? Mm. Very interesting. Guys are going for Pretoria on, on, on South Africa tonight. It's going to play a major factor, like if he can get through the first match and then the sweat starts coming in, it's going to be... Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's much harder. It's much more slippery. Eh? What do you think Bradley's game plan is? To, I think it's, it's to stall out the match. Okay. I think he's going in there to try and eliminate... So this is an eight-minute match? Yeah. First up, Trickus. I think Bradley's game here is to stall the match. Drickers has made his intention very clear that he wants to go for the big takedowns. So now the guys mustn't get like conned into like trying to get a to get the they get the fight to the ground too quickly. Yeah, you know. Yeah, look at that. You had eight minutes. Yeah, like absolutely. if you're gonna, you gonna yeah, just slowed everything down. That's it. Bradley's very underrated. And remember one thing as well, like Drickus is going to come in here with a with a with an MMA mind. Yes, and that's correct. And let's not forget this is jiu-jitsu. So I think Bobby's going to just wait for them to like settle, and he's going to try and reset them back in the center of the of the mat. Yeah, and if they can settle there, it's a good reset. Yeah, nice it's also reset. it's also a good position for um, Zulu. I mean, if he can if he can hold the close guard position for a minute, a minute and a half, it really does start bringing the time, time down for him. And then he, oh, looking oh, for a big stop. sweep. Okay, so, so we've, we've well got done. a close guard with a head and arm control and a head on the outside, right? Yeah. Oh, 
And of course, let's not forget Bobby in his own right, black belt. Phenomenal jiu-jitsu guy. Good to have him as a ref. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Bobby's probably the highest ranked jiu-jitsu ranked. guy in the... <laughs> in the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That stick is playing an Oh, can opener. Game, can opener. That, 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 that is one way how to not make friends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh nice Bradley inversion. Very nicely inversion. But Drake is really controlling the head there. So now we can see the wrestling coming in from yeah. DC, Team CRT. Eh? Drake has got a oh. oh, great Granby roll back into the guard position. Yeah. Went for a little triangle there. Didn't make it. Drick is really using a lot of energy here, though. Yeah. You have to imagine. Do you think, think Drick is using too much? Oh, oh, onto the triangle. Onto the triangle. Ah, he let it go. I think wisely let it go. Yeah. I think the angle was wrong and he would have just gassed. Yeah. But Bradley fighting his heart out. I mean, I, I've never actually watched Bradley compete, but I hear guys always talking about this guy and, like, the heart he shows. And I, I know he's a... Uh, he's a... Uh, like a big... A big uh, Elements in that whole GBR facility now, you know, yeah. like and 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 also probably one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Apparently so. Yeah, I, I've I've had some interactions with him. Just so so awesome. Beautiful jujitsu so far. Yeah. So Drake is going for a big knee slice. I th- Bradley's I th- going for that far side kimura, but I he think, misses I th- that. I think Bradley needs to just slow this all down a little bit. Yeah, I agree. Maybe just bring it down to to. Yeah. I also, I also don't believe that that Drake will be able to keep this type of pace. The whole way through this event, Absolutely you know. Not. And here's the problem: if he does keep this pace and he does win, the next round, yeah, he's. Remember, this is quintet, ladies and gentlemen. If you win, you Big stay. There. If Big you win, you breaths. stay. Oh, here we go. Drake is straight into the mount. Okay, so what is he going to go for so now? So Brad- Brady needs to get down to one hip and start clearing at least one leg there. You know, either yeah. drag the leg across or scoop it up and over. But he can't just sit there. If no. Drickus can sit, however, Drickus has got his neck very badly here from a cross face point of view. Yeah. Um, so, Bradley very mobile at the moment. Okay, okay. Bradley's onto one hip and he's scooping there it over. Go. Now he needs to get back to that right he's hip. Get, scoop the half guard, switch back in towards. Yes, there we there go. There we go. Drickus ah. immediately onto the neck. So. He needs to fight that hand, that connection there. Yeah. So if Drickus can keep that connection going, oh beautiful! Oh, he's trying to he's trying to transition over to the DAS there for a second. Oh, Bradley lifted it's his very head. Deep, eh? Very deep, oh. very deep. Very nice submission. Very nice defense. Good tap. Guillotine from top half guard's a tough one, eh? Yeah. And and Drickus was on there, man. You need Drickus you need to be there. fairly gifted to be able to do that. And mm. uh, I think great work from Bradley though. Absolutely. Um, I think great jiu-jitsu, uh, different styles. Yeah, and uh, and and that's remember the, the 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 remember the the spirit of this was soccer. Robert did this, and this yeah, the yeah. majority of these guys who started uh, quintet were shoot fighters. Yeah, hundred percent. Next up, we're going to have Wayne Mangana. Okay, so Wayne Mangana. What is the weight difference there? All right, let's have a look quickly at Wayne. Ah, let's just have a look here quickly. Okay, so, we, so we've got a four-minute round here. Uh, Wayne weighed in at 70.7 kgs, and obviously Drick is in at 97. So uh, sure. four Big minutes to work. Difference, eh? Four minutes to work. So, so here's the thing, right? Um, Drick has expended a lot of energy in the last fight. There was, it was some very deep right? breathing at the end of that a lot round. Of energy. We've got a fresh guy in. We've got four minutes. All he has to do is outlast. Yes. Now. This is going to be I would keep on the feet for at least a minute. Oh. oh. Jumped straight onto the neck, eh, Jacobs? Yeah. Well, he's got four minutes. Yeah. He has to make something happen very quickly. And, I mean, Drickers' chokes are absolutely world-class. Yeah. Yeah, we know that. We've seen yeah. that. Nice framing there from Wayne. Oh, and back in. And okay. Okay, now he needs to slow it down. This can yeah. opener seems to be an issue here for these guys, right? 
Okay, can he get mount? Brutal jiu jitsu. He's, the, he's, he's looking for that. that, that yeah, looking Look for like that he's guillotine. going for the 100% sweep. Okay, so Drick is in mount. And this is not where you want to be. Drick is bullying his way to the yeah. mount there. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be in that <laughs> right now. <laughs> it's not beautiful, but it's effective. Yeah, and, and remember, that's what it's about. No, it is. Effective. Uh, any which way you look at it, he's in mount. And uh, Wayne's got three minutes. Three minutes to survive. And even if you go back to like the original like um, quintet that came around, I mean, it was a lot of the rules were also a very pro wrestling, right? Yeah. So the whole the whole idea of this was to like get the wrestlers and the grapplers to come together and compete against each other. Absolutely. Even some of the shidos and the resets are all very wrestling based. Yes, definitely. Super wrestling Stuff we've never seen in jujitsu. Okay. Right? So does he have a mounted triangle? Now I can't see. I can't see either. I think no. I think the arm is out now. One Shido so far for Wayne. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, what's happened now is that um, Coach Bob, I mean, uh, Ref Bobby, has given uh, Wayne a Shido, and that's for in inactivity. Now, what a Shido means is, is basically it's a, it's a warning. So, the first warning um, will have gone against him for inactivity because he's playing at the bottom, not doing anything, or at least he seemed to be playing at the bottom, not doing anything. Yeah. It's also very tough when someone's tw more than 20 kilograms heavier than you to try and actually like stop this guy from... Absolutely. From Do you advancing. think that uh, that uh, that Shido was um, a good call? Yeah, I think I think I think it is a good call. Uh, one more Shido, they're going to reset the actual fight. But I mean, effectively, this mount position is yeah fairly so dominant. Oh, and he's onto the Americana. Yeah. Oh. So, so the problem here is, and why the Shido is given is because mount top, mount bottom. If nothing can happen, two Shidos. Yeah, yeah. two Shidos. Wayne, stand up. Okay, so Drickus has opted to, to turtle, right? And this is how the fight's going to start. There we go. There we go. Um, so the idea of this Shido is to keep the action going because for two minutes there we sat in a, in a, in a mounted position and we didn't see anything going. All right, beautiful. Oh, so we straight onto that net. Yeah. Just the way he finished the last fight. Exactly. Um, Wayne doing very, very, very well to counter that, eh? Guys, just blocking up the hip. Beautiful defense of Jiu Jitsu. One and a half minutes left for Wayne. The thing is, um, just for everyone to note, this is a very new rule set and everyone's still trying to get their heads around this rule set. This is the first time that this specific rule set has been played. We have had a quintet previously in South Africa, but the, the rule sets weren't weren't the same as what we're playing tonight. Um, yeah, tonight we've gone traditional quintet. Yeah, very much traditional quintet. Yeah, um, except for two things. Right, heel hooks. Yes, which is going to play a big factor. It already has played a big factor. Yeah. And number two, um, no refs decisions, time, EBI rules. Time, 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 time. Okay. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so what happened is uh, Wayne got DQ'd for three Shidos for in inactivity. Yes. Um, however, Drekus also got a Shido, yeah. right? So that will go against his name. Yeah. and against the team for a later stage correct and uh i think ref bobby making a good call there yeah i agree wholeheartedly yeah we want to see the action and you know what else um this has done is is that this is also So I'll tell you what else this has done. This has sent a message to all the teams that, yeah. guys, this is about jiu-jitsu. This is about um, um, pushing the, the action. This is about pushing the team. So um, essentially, the ref's call is final. Yeah, 100%. And Bobby will stand by that. And I think it was a good call. I mean, yeah. if, you, if you're in the bottom mount position for more than a minute, I mean, you're not doing anything, correct? That's a, and, and, and let's not forget that Trick has also got the Shido. Yeah. Right? Now, 90 kilograms of black belt. Storm Conrad standing there looking mean. 
Storm's got a nasty triangle. Storm's got a nasty triangle. Yes. So, I mean, that's a, that might play a massive factor here. I, I, I competed against him at blue belt level. I, I don't think I want to compete <laughs> against him again. My, my, um, my 78 kilograms and his 90 kilograms aren't going to be friends. Oh, Ooh, very nice. Nice yeah, start. Storm going hard. I think he's a little bit of uh, reparations there with, yeah, uh, for I, his team members. The GBI guys are very fired up at the moment. Okay, and because um, of the weight category, this is an eight-minute fight. Yeah. Oh, going for the sweep, I, pendulum sweep, and or this is Storm's first one. outing as a black belt as well. Just for everyone yeah. that doesn't know that, Storm got a has a very aggressive game, especially from the guard. Um, looks like he's going for the pendulum sweep and maybe trying to like get the uh, break the base and then maybe trying to re-enter onto an armbar or a triangle. I was just about to say it. Yeah. that pendulum to me looked very um, um, not to actually armbarous. get the sweep. Uh, and um, his guard looks just crazy. It's, yeah, it's brutal. Now you can see you can see how weight's gonna play. Oh, oh my goodness! Very you good it. entry. You called it, bro. You Very called good it. entry. Drick is trying to go for the rodeo pass there. Enters into into half butterfly. Storm potentially looking to get under him there and go onto the legs. This is turning out to be a great match. Storm very relaxed, eh? Yeah. But, I mean, but exploding when he needs to explode. Drick is still playing his, his game plan. Yeah, 100%. Effectively. 100%. Hmm. But I think it's it's less effective against the guy with such a strong guard, though. Yeah, agreed. Someone that's able to re-guard, get back into position, play his game, stay calm in the scrambles. That's a it. lot of it is also about how you exit the scramble, right? It's like... You cause this chaos, and a lot of guys don't know how to exit the scramble, and they land up in the bad position. Drick is obviously good at creating scrambles, but Storm's calm in that scramble and just using his uh, regarding to get back into position. That's it. And he went straight up for that triangle. What are, you, what are your thoughts on this can opener? Oh, I hate it. <laughs> As a competitor, oh, I hate it. You went for the second time, went for the triangle. Yeah. As a competitor, I hate it too. Yeah. Um, I think it's... You can't, you can't dog on it because, I mean, it's it legal works. in the system, yeah. but, I mean, I don't That's like it. And he goes for the triangle. I actually thought he was going to go for the armbar. He's trying to get the underhook, yeah? Let's see. Oh, beautiful oh, guard retention. Yeah. Storm showing some incredible jiu-jitsu. In I the think the key the here is, that is how calm he's actually remaining through this, through this match, yeah? So going for the hip bump. Super calm. So we're five, five and a half minutes into the spout. Or four, four and a half, actually, right? We've got five and a half oh, to go. five and a half to go, excuse me. Oh, man. Storm showing some incredible regarding. Um, Storm just chucked his, uh, his mouth guard out there. It's getting in the way. And that's his choice, right? 100%. Yeah, I don't find But those mouth things guard. aren't cheap, so I don't want it to get lost here. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I think... The last three matches are beginning to weigh on Drickus. Yeah, mm. definitely. I mean, he's been in now for three matches. It's been well, the explosive energy is definitely deteriorated. Yeah, and I also think like the weight difference. Like now you've got someone that's only seven kilograms lighter than you, yeah. and is fresh. Yeah, I think now now and the weight the weight and he's strong, eh? So that's right, eh? Coach Bobby standing them up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's within the rule set. I don't know if that's within the rule set. Mm? I don't know if that's within the Drickus is actually evading at the moment, so there might be a Shido. Yeah. Storm's coming forward. Right. Oh, oh goes Imanari for the Imanari roll. roll there. Oh, and he goes for the sweep. Nice framing. Okay, nice framing. So now we're in north south. Um, we know Drickus likes working for that neck. Yes. Um, but we also know that Storm likes going inverted. So let's see if... Yeah, so he's straight on the frames though. So I, th I think so I think Drick's gonna have a hard Jamie time. Jamie Gemmel shouting, "Watch the guillotine storm! Watch the guillotine storm!" Ooh. Back into the butterfly guard there. Storm looking very, very, very relaxed. Yeah. Mm. Right, so, oh, Storm going for that triangle. Again, man, he keeps on 
trying to get that triangle. Storm fighting are really, really, really good. All right, so Coach Bobby um, calling an, a second Shido for Drickus for earlier for not um, interacting. So that's the yep. second Shido now. First Shido for the match, second Nido Shido for. Um, so just so everyone understands, just so everyone understands, you got to. So some of the guys just uh, questioning some of the rule sets. Um, Storm, Storm, they're going for a pendulum sweep. Um, it looks like he's trying to go for this arm bar. I mean, uh, for yeah, for the arm bar. Um, Really cutting the angle hard on Drickus. Drickus fighting, um, fighting him off very, very well. Right, two and a half minutes. Again, Drickus, if Drickus doesn't start interacting and start uh, being um, uh, more forward, he might get another Shido. Well, the position reset with two minutes, 20. Okay. So what happens is, what happened, ladies and gentlemen, is that um, Coach Bobby was trying to call a reset um, because of the Shidos, and uh, and Drickus jumped on the on the neck. Um, so what they're going to do is they're going to go back to the reset and uh, and let it continue from there. Okay, no pressure with the cross face. Yes, he said go. Okay, so there's no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so Storm back at the bottom. Um, Trick is trying his best to pass again. Um, and he got the tap. And he got the tap. Okay. Could you see what that was? It was, uh, it looked like a DOS. It looked like a DOS. I don't know. Right, ladies and gentlemen. So next up, we've got Mark Silos. Uh, Mark's coming in at 85 kilograms. He's a purple belt. Um, been training for seven years, and um, wow. Well, okay, 85 kilograms against uh, against. Um, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Just give me one sec. I'll be back now.
Okay, we're on to the next match, yeah? Drake is immediately into the top guard position. Yeah. Mark, Mark does seem a little bit out of his depth here, potentially. Yeah, 75 kilograms. I mean, um, Drickus is substantially stronger. Yeah. Um, although... Yeah, with a lot of momentum as well. Yeah, with a lot of... Mark oh, Mark on leg. the legs. Yeah. On the legs. Oh, Drickus in turn going for a footlock. Oh, that, oh, so that looked like a big extension there on the heel hook. So let's see. Can Mark get that heel? He's got Drickus it. keeps slipping the heel. Oh, he's deep on the actual ankle there. He needs to get connection. He needs to get connection. He's too worried about what Drickus is doing. But That's also it. the knee line is cleared there. Yeah, you see the knee line is cleared, ladies and gentlemen. Just like an arm bar, we need to be above that knee line in order to, to secure the knee, in order to get the heel hook. Very big moment for Mark Silas there. Yeah. But Drickus straight onto the north-south choke. Yeah. And now, of course, Drickus is going to go straight on that neck. Yeah. Oh, north-south, it looks tap. North-south choke. Tap. Mm. So let me tell you what else is really good for Team CRT right now is, um, um, is the fact that they've only had one competitor in. Yeah, 100%. Everybody else is fresh. Yeah, no one's even had a round, eh? I'm going to hand over now to yeah. our opening round competitor, Dylan. So good Dylan's going to come and hang out with me for a while. Mr. Carrera Miguel. Hello, my brother. Good, thanks for you, Huntley. Good to have you with me. Yeah. Okay. Good to be sitting here. Yeah, thank you for, for uh, standing in for... Um, Warren, oh, um, it's a pleasure. To go and sort, sort things out. Okay, so Drickus now in his fourth fight, right? Um, Jamie Gemmel coming in, um, and uh, he's the last hope now for Gacy Baha. Jamie Gemmel is a prolific competitor, black belt. Um, we know one thing about him he likes the hills. And how do you take out someone like Drickus now? I think you're going to have to go for his legs. He's, mm. he's driving forward with Venom, yeah. and he's been doing that for a long time now. Um, I'm sure he's got the gas tank to do it for another eight minutes, but Jamie will definitely get opportunities to wrap around his legs. Jamie's also got a very, very beautiful Kimura game, mm -hmm. which he could catch in transitions. So let's just check weight limits quickly. Uh, we just, we're just double checking, checking, ladies and gentlemen, with regards to uh, 72. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is a four minute match. Right, um, because of the weight difference between um, Jamie and between uh, Drickus. Uh, good respect being shown now, right at the end. Uh, it was a little bit heated earlier. Yes. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, as well, that um, this is a very new rule set, and we're all kind of getting used to it. This is the first time anything like this has been done to this level here. Straight away, Jamie's sitting to guard, Drickus attacking Straight his on neck. that neck again. Straight on. Yeah. Jamie needs to fight that grip and try and strip it from his yeah. chin, that top elevating side. with that butterfly hook beautifully. Yeah. Textbook defense. From Jamie. Oh, the guys having a little bit of a, a giggle with one another. I like this. This is this is what I'm here. This to is see. this is what jujitsu should be That's about. Um, Ooh, looking for that dos. So he's got the dos. Yeah, Drickus is on that dos. Next to, oh, he's, he's going to sit down. Across. This is dangerous. Jamie's okay, so elevating Jamie with that bottom leg. I know, but he's just Ooh, that squeeze is coming, and I think yeah, oh, there we he go. He tapped, tap. and he got the dos. Wow, ladies and wow. gentlemen, Drickus Duplessis, hey? Okay? I think what you've just seen is some beautiful submission grappling. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> submission grappling. Wow. Wow. This, the speed of his transition from the Japanese necktie grip to the DAS grip was incredible. Yeah. Well done, Jikas. That was, that was power. Sure. Okay, so now let's talk teams, right? Um, let's talk finals. Okay, Team PESFA. Right versus Team CRT. Yep. Now, Team PESFA had one or two competitors in. They had Reese in, right? And then Johan came in. Yes. Am, am I right? Yes. Okay. So, also, quite a fresh camp. Um, Drick is basically the only guy that's taken a punishment yep. um, from Team CRT. So, they've got a completely open open um, um, or fresh uh, team. So, the finals are going to be something. And a very heavy team. They only have four competitors. The other three competitors are all very... Very strong and athletic competitors. We've got Tal, Tal Bugai, Liam yeah. Clellan, and then Cameron Sneyman, who is the lightest of the bunch, but he's going to be a handful. Yeah, well Cameron's done, always a handful. Well done, Jamie. So I think strategically... Yeah, look at this, man. 
Tal 85 kilograms, Trickus 97 kilograms, sure. Liam 88.8, 89 kilograms, and Simon in at 70 kilograms. That's, that's incredible. A big team, man. And that's not that's not an uh, cumbersome 88. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna shoot this across to see us, and uh, he's gonna. We're gonna have a have a short interval. Um, I will let you guys know how long that interval will be, so we know exactly when we can be back uh, doing some jujitsu. I'll, I'll make sure CS lets us know how long the interval is.